hi guys welcome to my channel welcome back if you've been here before I'm with another talking sitting down video I know it's just it's hot <laughs> y'all it is so hot outside I'm not going outside it's just not happening but I know that a lot of you guys are coming to Japan for either vacation or you're coming on the jet program congratulations for getting in yay so I wanted to let you know you are coming through the dead of summer and here okay in the past whenever I would look up things about Japan and people would be like oh Japan is so hot in the summer it's so hot it would be people from like Alaska or Minnesota or uh, like I don't know Vancouver or some 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 place that doesn't truly get hot so I never knew how, what to expect when it came to summertime here my first summer here as you may have seen because I know y'all watch some of them videos I was pretty much drenched in sweat the entire summer it, it was hot if you've ever been to the south if you've ever been to Georgia below the Mason Dixon line in America this is how that's how it feels but even worse because the ACs are like not that good so I wanted to come on here and give you guys some tips and some like product recommendations for summertime when you land in Japan go immediately to the konbini and get some of these things because child <laughs> we can't afford nobody to have a heat stroke like and, and the thing is like heat stroke is real and like my school just had a news special about it like heat stroke is real please keep yourself cool so I wanted to give you some product recommendations for keeping yourself cool and keeping yourself safe during the summertime if you choose to come during the summer or if you are coming on the jet program during the dead of summer so yeah let's go ahead and let's get into this video it's gonna be quick too let's go ahead and get into this video because my behind is going outside after this which is wild okay so the first thing that I recommend is getting yourself a fan or an electric fan you can find the electric fans at Daiso or any like hardware store you can find these at festivals um, you can find them at the grocery stores you can find them at combinis these they give these away like hotcakes I got like seven but it's just the Uchiwa and you just you know fan yourself and honestly the power of this thing it is it literally looks like an american church fan but it's amazing um the electric ones are good too because you don't have to use as much arm power but the batteries don't last as long on those so just fyi for that um yeah get you a fan speaking of fans if you do live in japan and you want to invest in it they do have shirts that I see a lot of construction workers and people that work outside wearing that have like a hole cut out with an electric fan in it and it puffs the shirt up I'll show some pictures on the screen so you guys can see it but basically like it just keeps your entire body cool and I want one of those I have yet to find one but I want one of those I truly think they have some at the Oki clothing store that I go to so maybe I might check and see if they have some in the men's section because those things look cool and this summer I'm going back to summer sonic and your girl is not about to die this time I was so I was so hot I was literally salt all on me because I was sweating so much like it was wild but yeah so that is my first recommendation is invest in a fan whether it is a shirt fan a hand fan or an electric fan get you a fan because it's hot it's hot the next thing that I highly recommend is to bring a sweat towel and that sounds crazy but it's like a tiny little cloth let me let me see if I can it's different from your it's different from your hand towel let me see if I can find it for you okay so this is my hand towel but basically it's same same thing but you're just not gonna use it for your hands you're gonna use it for your face um, and that is because you're gonna be covered in sweat and you're gonna be gross and disgusting and you're not gonna be wanting to take pictures in front of Fushimi and Adi with drenched in sweat like no that's ugly like pff, no um, so yeah get you a towel for your face so you can wipe your face off this is for my hands so because most public bathrooms in Japan don't have 
paper towel so invest in a hand towel while you are here please I have like six of these they're so cute okay my next tip is to keep yourself hydrated with liquids and yes obviously drink water because why are you not drinking water but they do have other drinks here they're kind of similar to like our Gatorade or our sports drinks but they're not as sugary um, they have Pocati Sweat and there is Aquarius. I personally like Pocati Sweat. I think Pocati Sweat is superior to Aquarius, but I do like them both. They do have both like really good like products. Um, another thing that they have, and I don't know where to find it, but my teachers always give them to us in the summertime, is these little tablets. They kind of look like they were made by the same brand as Akati or, or Pocati Sweat. And they're like little salt tablets, like sugar like tablets. It's the same stuff that's inside of those sports drinks, but you just eat it. And at first the taste is really off-putting and it dissolves in your mouth really quickly and it's kind of like, like what is this? But it is equivalent to like one bottle of the sports drink as far as electrolytes. So that's gonna keep you, your electrolytes up. You're gonna keep yourself cool. I think that it's really interesting to have a lot of the sports teachers throughout Japan will have like a ton of these on them so if you ask someone at your school or if you ask someone that is into sports I'm pretty sure they should know where to find them I don't know where to find them but they are amazing so yeah get you invest in the sports drinks good sports drinks another thing that I highly recommend to keep yourself cool is always have a hat on you because girl the sun the sun my hair is my hat but get a hat and wear sunscreen because why are you not wearing sunscreen it's 2024 what what's wrong with you wear sunscreen um because the sun mm, and i highly recommend getting waterproof sunscreen it's sunscreen that is not going to go away once you sweat me personally, I can't find a waterproof sunscreen that doesn't give me a white cast because there's nothing in this world that is made for black people. But I do wear sunscreen every day, even on cloudy days, because your girl's trying to stay young forever. Look at me. I don't look like I'm 30, do I? <laughs> no, because of sunscreen. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that I recommend. Let me see if there's anything else. Oh. Another thing that I recommend as far as like summertime, if you are visiting here, you don't have to follow this tip because like you're just visiting, you're gonna go home unless you wanna take some with you. Um, but if you are living here, I highly recommend that you go invest in some cool biz or cool tech. And you can find this, you can find this at Uniqlo, you can find this at GU, you can find this at pretty much any store, clothing store because it is that popular and basically what it is is it's just clothing that goes underneath your clothing that has like technology to keep you cool and honestly sometimes they're super cute so um, I do have a few things I usually get mine in the men's section of Uniqlo because that's where it fits me and um, the same for like in the winter they have like the heat tech it's the same brand but just different different situation um, I highly recommend you getting one of those because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. Um, and I believe that is it. Hi guys, it's Editing Autumn here. I completely forgot one more item. There's this like cool ring that you can put around your neck. I think it's new because it's the first time I'm seeing it around. But basically you put it around your neck and it's got like ice or something in it. A lot of kids and babies wear it, but I've seen some adults also wear it. Speaking of fans, also they have a fan that goes around your neck that like blows air up at you. So those are also some things that can help you keep cool in the wind in the summertime. So yeah, all right, back to the video. <laughs> yeah, if you are coming to the jet program and you're coming here in like what should be like a week or two, please, please be safe out there. Please do not risk your life for the sake of being in Japan drink your water keep yourself cool don't be frugal turn your ac on y'all don't don't be don't be frugal don't die because you don't want to spend no money that's that's wild that's insane um but yeah that is it for this video sorry if it was rambly i was just trying to give y'all the tips because it's hot and it's getting hotter 
um, if you guys have any questions or if you have any recommendations of things that can keep you cool in the summertime, please put them below because no, we can never have enough. We can never have enough. Let, let's, let's put them down below because it's hot and I don't do heat. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys later and I will see you guys in another video. So bye. No, for real. Like, it's hot. And I'm about to go outside. That's why. Who am I? Who am I? But, yeah. My friend has, like, a sports thing that he does every Sunday. So, we're going to go. We're going to go outside. And we're going to go be hot and gross and sticky. Ugh. But, you know, I got to exercise, too, I guess. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.